Hey guys, Tim again, timscomputerfix.net. Listen, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, these laptops that come through my shop, and I'm sure any of you techs who work on these things know how laptops are being put together now and the design of them and everything. Laptops are still being shipped with actual physical hard drives. A lot of them are being shipped now with SSDs, of course, but I'm still getting computers into my shop fairly regular that have hard drive issues or at the very least needs data recovery or whatever on a failing laptop but uh, I'm just going to talk about basically diagnostics of these things so you know one of the very first things that I do whenever I get a laptop in this having troubles such as uh, sluggishness no boot not booting up, uh, non-responsive. A lot of times it's a really good idea to have the hard drive in hand so you can like mount it on a, like a data recovery bench or on a, on a bench machine to check it, to properly check it or to extract data or what have you. So when troubleshooting a drive, uh, a lot of times it's a good idea to remove the drive from the laptop and maybe mount it on a data recovery bench or on your bench machine so you can properly diagnose it or extract data or what have you uh, and as we all know today's computers are the hard drive is sealed and buried in the laptop they give you no panel door to open up and to have access to your hard drive and uh, in a lot of cases also your memory as older laptops they conveniently added a door to gain access to your hard drive and memory why are they doing this now and almost all manufacturers are now doing this to where servicing a hard drive or, or memory on if it's an upgradable or whatever hp dell you name it why are they doing this to where you have to go through a lot of work just to do that who knows maybe they want you just to throw the computer away and buy another one uh, I don't know it's, it's really a pain for us technicians uh, but they're doing that this could mean sometimes removing the keyboard in this case this is not the case for you have to remove the keyboard but on some models you have to remove the keyboard then you have to go in and remove the battery the, the CD drive if there's still CD drive in it all the screws and your screws hiding under these feet sometimes and then you got to crack it all open a lot of labor involved with that this video right here is just about maybe a simple way that you guys can try or or just a little quick you know pro tip uh to maybe make your diagnosis of computers like this a little bit um, easier especially with hps and dells so I have this plugged in ready to go. Let's just take a look at what this laptop does fresh in my shop. Hit the power button. We get uh, the screen kind of lights up there a little bit. And we've got these lights here. One of them, I guess, is a hard drive light, power light. Those are on. And we wait. Basically, you can wait and wait and wait all you want. Then we finally get to the HP loading screen, which it took forever to get there. And now we're waiting and waiting and waiting. Then we end up going back to a blank screen. Let's see what this is going to do here. Back to a blank lit screen. There's obviously something going on with this laptop. As I said before, the very first thing I want to do is test or confirm that that hard drive in this computer is okay so now we end up at the load screen this is also proof that the memory is probably okay and it's just taking forever to do anything so there's no way we're going to get into windows to test that drive so there's several different other ways we can go about this the one way i what i don't want to do is have to strip this thing down to test the drive because, well, for one, I may go through all of that work, find out that it is the hard drive, confirm that it is the hard drive, and give the customer a price and come to find out that they don't want to pay for the repair. 
then I'm stuck with having to most likely having to go through all the trouble of putting the drive back in this computer and shutting it all up and everything. So, so I'm going to talk about a couple ways that we can check hardware here without having to go through all the work of stripping the laptop down for quick diagnostics. So in this case, I'm just going to simply uh, shut down this computer by holding down the power button. What I want to do is just press, and, and this is an HP, so I want to press the power button and I want to start pressing escape immediately. And once I do that, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get a menu like this. Uh, system information, system diagnostics, boot device options, bio, system recovery, right? So let's go into system diagnostics, okay? F2, hit F2 here. And this comes up fairly quickly, so we're bypassing the hard drive. So now we have these choices, system information, system test, component test. So I don't want to do a whole system test. Obviously, the screen's working, the graphics are working. In my opinion, the memory is okay. So let's go right into component test. Go down a couple. Component test, hit enter. Okay, now it gives you a list of all the components, single components you can test. If you were to go through a full diagnostics uh, option that they gave you, you'll be here for a while because it's going to test all of these guys. But I am just want to target the hard drive. So this, this allows me to do that. I'll go straight to hard drive press enter then it wants to know quick test extensive test smart check we can do the quick test just to start off just to see if the quick test passes we can move on to the other hard drive tests but um, let's just start with the quick test and this gives you a little bit of information it tells you what it's going to do this also tests hard disks or solid states and it lets you know that they're functioning properly which will give you a general idea about the condition of the hard drive. So we're just going to go ahead and select run once. And you see the smart check passed. So it passed that part. Now we're waiting on the short DST test in progress. We'll wait here and wow, just that quick. Look at there. Failure gives an ID number. But now see, very quick way, I now know that the hard drive's bad. I, I, for the heck of it, we'll go back, we'll go to main menu. You know, and since I'm in here, I wanna check to see how much memory this has because this is running uh, Windows 10. So a lot of times with these computers, when you run, that they upgrade to Windows 10 or it comes with Windows 10, most of the time I'm finding that the manufacturer's only putting four gigs of RAM in there. How are you going to know that without taking it apart? Well, you go to system information here. We'll go there and we'll select memory. Now this is going to tell me everything that I need to know about the memory. Oh, look, there are two dim slots that just confirmed right here. So I know there's two dim slots. This one says not installed. This one, guess what? Memory size, four gigs. So I'm going to recommend a memory upgrade too that I know that I can do because there are two DIMM slots. And, you know, I know exactly what I'm looking at and how to price this out. Now, what if there's data on the computer and say that they want to replace that hard drive? Well, we still don't know what size drive that is, right? Under system information, we can go down to hard drive, select that. Let's see, we see that there's only one hard drive, so sometimes there are two, so that confirms that, right? We do know that it's not an SSD. There you go, it's a 500 gig Western Digital mechanical drive, not an SSD. Now, just that quick, thanks to the built-in self-test and self-diagnostics and self-information here, and even if a computer isn't booting up to Windows, you can still get a a general diagnostics really quick so you can give your customer or you, so you yourself know what the problem is. But you know, to, for me, it's giving the customer an estimate quickly. Okay, this goes for uh, HP and Dell. Uh, HP uses the escape button. Uh, Dell uses uh, the F12 button after you press the power button. And it'll give you those same kind of general options of self-diagnostics of diagnostics and system information. So yeah, guys, real quick video to show you how to quickly diagnose a laptop to give an estimate 
or to find out yourself. Hope this helps somebody out. Have a great YouTube day. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you head right down below here, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome. I have much more computer repair videos coming your way. There's also a bell you can click for to get notifications for my videos. I really appreciate everybody's support. And as usual, everyone, until next time, see you soon.